my review of the Pink Floyd album, Wish You Were Here. It was released in 1975 and produced by Pink Floyd. So this album I would have got in the summer of 2006. I would have got it for my birthday. Uh, not this actual copy of it. That copy got stolen in my car a few years ago. So this one I got more recently. And uh, this album is one that I've always liked a lot. It, I, the reason I got it for my birthday was at this point I had heard the song Wish You Were Here and I already really liked that song so I mainly just wanted to get it for that and I can still remember a lot of like the first like times of listening to this album not really the first exact time I don't think that I listened to it when I got it but I can remember uh, like the first time I heard Welcome to the Machine on it I was like falling asleep uh, on this like couch and it kind of like creeped me out just the you know the sounds on it and stuff and it's still kind of like a, a creepy song instrumentally but I guess I should probably wait to talk about that when I talk about songs. First song uh, Shining and Crazy Diamond parts one through five I remember like back when I first got this album the song seemed like it was just like forever long it's only like 13 minutes which now it seems like it's like a three minute song when I listen to it but it just seemed to be one of the ones that I skipped at first when I got the album because I never wanted to listen to a song that long and eventually got to the point where I was listening to it and uh, I still like remember the moment I was playing uh, it was a Godfather video game on PS2 and you know, listening to the album and I just put it on to play all the way through while I was uh, playing the game because I didn't want to like switch to different songs like I normally did and I was listening to it and it, I was like, wow, this song's actually really good. And so then I started listening to it more and more and started really getting into it. Uh, I had the Pulse DVD, so I got really into like, the live version of it for a while. But definitely one of my favorite Pink Floyd songs. Uh, the second song, Welcome to the Machine, I already mentioned that I first time I heard that, I found it kind of creepy. And it was a song that I was kind of into more for its weirdness, I guess, than because I, I guess, like, found it that uh, catchy or anything. It was kind of, for a while, my least favorite song on here. Not really sure now, because I like everything on here really well now. Uh, but still, just, it's a really weird song, but I kind of like what it does now more than just because it's weird. Uh, if that makes sense. Probably not. I'm, like, really tired. <laughs> The third song, Have a Cigar, this one's uh, sung by Roy Harper, who I'm not really familiar with outside of this, like, song. Uh, I guess, like, Roger was having trouble singing it or something, so he and Dave didn't want to sing it, so they got somebody else to sing it. And I, I remember always kind of thinking he didn't sound like the rest of the band because, uh, like at the time I got this, I couldn't really tell uh, all the band members' voices apart. But he didn't sound like any of the the singers on Dark Side, so I, he didn't sound like anybody in the band. So I was a surprise when I saw that it wasn't. Um, and it's it's kind of a song that I appreciate now more than what I did then because I remember kind of thinking that it was I don't know if like I don't know throwaway is like not really the right. Or, but I don't know, I just, I think it's because it's more of like a harder kind of like guitar driven song, which is something that they don't do as much, that I just kind of thought like less of it than some of their other stuff, I don't know, but, but uh, it, it kind of took me a while to appreciate it, but now I think it's a really cool song. Uh, and then the title track, Wish You Were Here, which like I said, I uh, I liked that the first time I heard it, and it's it's a little overplayed. I've listened to it a ton, but it's still a it's still a song that I like a lot. And then the album closed with uh, the next part of Shine On You Crazy Diamond, parts six through nine. And I didn't ever really listen to this part quite as much for some reason. Uh, even after I got into the first half, I think it's kind of because like the long ending part of it kind of used to bore me 
but now I think that it's it's just really cool that long kind of instrumental part that uh, it ends on. So yeah, I uh, wish you were here. Definitely still one of my favorite Pink Floyd albums. Not quite sure if I like it better, Dark Side or than Dark Side or not. But I think I listen to it more often.